think it's the Sims V4R. Looking good. On the R? <laughs> Shoot, I've never ridden the R. You know I have my SP2. This bike is insane, man. And uh, let's get this first ride going. I won't waste any more time. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited, dude. Oh my goodness. Honestly, if you want to do a review on the Nurburgring, that's the craziest bike. One of... Really? What is it? One of what? 150. One of 150? One of 150. Carbon wheels. Bro, this thing is beautiful, man. This like, one. pictures don't do it justice. Oh. Thick, this is, will be the largest yeah. bike you've ever heard. Oh my, with the air, you know it's with the air on mine. Wait till you hear this. <laughs> <laughs> the back one's beautiful. Beautiful. You'll hit it, yeah, I might blow the window out. Really? I don't know, you'll find out in a second. Display up there too. Sheesh, like a little iPad up here, man. Watch, just climb on and feel the weight. It's 390 pounds wet. Hold on, we hold this. Ugh. You should do a video on it. Oh yeah, dude, that's nothing, man. And then rolling with the carbon wheel is gonna feel real good. It comes up. Like nothing. Third gear, you pin in, it just comes up. This is like a work of art, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like I want a bike. I feel like I want a work of art, for real. This is insane. Wow, yeah, it feels really good. All the controls and everything. Guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D, and today <laughs> we got a special treat for you guys, man. Shout out to the PDM brands, they're letting me ride this MV Augusta Brutale, and it is you can see it right here, number six of 150 limited edition, the Nurburgring Ring edition. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely insane it sounds good it looks absolutely beautiful you'll see from uh some of the cinematic shots i got but those wheels look so good the camera does not do this bike any justice like it is absolutely insane how good this looks but they're gonna let me take it out for a first ride i showed up on the rs660 it's cold out they're done riding so uh, it'll just be me riding solo but i'm gonna give you all my thoughts on this i've never ridden an mb before and i'm super pumped so Let's go ahead and get this cold start going, bay, bay. I got the key back behind here. Motorcycle art. <laughs> yes, sir, with the arrow on there. Just listen to that thing. God. And the readout of the screen is just insane. You got sport. I don't even, like, no. Like, it's lean angle of the front, of the rear. Best lap time. I love this readout. It almost looks like a like a fighter jet, essentially. That's pretty cool. Golly, all right, I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait, baby. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Let's go. Should I go here or sure? Oh. This thing is sick. What? <laughs> I never thought I would be this excited to ride like almost like a super naked bike, man. Which way should I go? Which way? Yeah. So you can go up and down this street. Okay. Left. Everything's kind of similar. You'll you'll see. Okay, it's one big circle. 
All right, cool. Are there cops usually out here? No, nah, it's pretty good. No, cool. okay. Sure. All right. Hey, can we get a, uh, it's like a reel of me pulling off? A reel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind. Sounds good, dude. <laughs> Yo, this thing is wicked. This thing is wicked, dude. What? Oh my goodness! Hold on, I gotta get y'all another view of this thing. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Wow! And it's got the power of like a sport bike. I think they said it's making 205 for the wheel. It's like weird being in an upright position, but also feeling the power of like a super sport. Literally like the Ducati or the R1M. The R1M put down, I think, 194 to the back wheel so this is faster than my r1m the ducati once we get it tuned it'll be probably right around there that's just insane of course not anywhere close to the h2 but i mean for a bike to be this light and putting out this much power it's just <laughs> and to sound like this with the snap crackle pops on there oh yeah that's it i love this <laughs> what okay mv okay now now i kind of understand the hype i kind of get it a little bit now bro this thing is nuts and the tires are cold so <laughs> i don't even want to give it full throttle because <laughs> I know it's gonna wheel it. That's me giving it like three fourths to half throttle there. Not even, I'd say like half throttle. We'll hit it really hard here and I'll cover the rear brake just in case it does wheelie because I know it will. And I won't give it full throttle until I'm in first or in second gear because this isn't my bike and this is a very expensive bike. So I don't want to hoon on it like it's one of my bikes. Well, I see you looking, boy. I see you looking, boy. <laughs> he trying to pretend he's not looking. All right, so we'll go first. We'll shift in the second. All right, let's hit it. hear that hold on i need y'all to understand this this thing sounds nuts i just listen to it gang is it time for a, a mv do we need one and the seating position is like actually comfortable <laughs> okay it's got a it's got some type of wheelie control on because i can feel it wanting to come up and then it just cuts the power so yeah it's got wheelie control on somewhere God, this thing sounds so good. I'm like, where is that shadow coming from? Yo, this thing feels so light too, dude. Like, it just feels like nothing. Holy cow. 
has a lot to do with the um, carbon wheels that are on here because I have my Ducati and it makes such a huge difference like a huge difference and I have no idea where I'm at oh, it's got launch control look at that launch control what is all this it's got cruise control what this beast of a machine's got cruise control and the paint on here is just beautiful man Wow. Okay, now, now I kind of understand, like I said, the hype behind the brand and everything, man. This is, this is cool. <laughs> Listen to this thing. I need to bring this back before I get in trouble. But we might hit it one more time. Hold on, let's um let's go this way. like this sound this good holy cow like this to me is like the ultimate like retired from sport bikes but still like want to hoon and be able to keep up and also be able to hit the twisties bike right here because it's got all the power you need like more than enough power and it's so light and I'm sitting upright in a very, 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 like, comfortable seating position, man. Like, in the pops, I just can't get over how good this thing sounds. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I need to take this thing back. This, this needs to go back. Listen to that, dude. What? That sounds so good. No shifts. Oh my goodness. And then the down shifts. Down shift. Oh. Oh my god, that sounds good. I want one. <laughs> Yo, this is it. This is it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, man. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible machine, man. Huge shout out once again to PDM for letting me just take this out. I literally just met these guys, man. I'm like, hey, you want to take this uh, expensive rare motorcycle out real quick? How was it? Oh, incredible. Dude, this thing is mental, man. A little more power than the Philia? Yo, <laughs> just a little bit. This is smidge. Oh, I love it. I love everything about it, man. It's like almost like a, I'm trying to describe, like a single clutch in like a car, you know what I'm saying? Like when you shift, you're like, damn. But like, it's kind of cool. Like you feel like, like in sync with the bike. I love it. Sounds good. It has some sort of wheelie control on, which is probably a good thing. But you feel it wanting to come up. No, I, this is wow. Yeah, the wheelie controls—it's it's either on or off. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> it was on, honestly. It's off, oh. Yeah. Oh, I can only imagine, man. And it feels so light. Yeah. 390 pounds wet. Yeah, that's wild. That's nothing, man. Nothing. How much does that weigh, weigh? We waited for it to close around 420. Okay. 
Did you weigh this on the same scale? I wonder how much this is. Says 390 wet. And you guys have have y'all done anything to it besides the tune and everything? Everything else stopped. You can also run on MR12, so <laughs> heard you down there like oh, You can still hear it? You hear me revving it? Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I was like, I know he's probably out out of Yeah, I, I was off the bike doing a couple of runs. I was like, I gotta get this man. Red light once he's just doing a review. Yeah. Every time, that's like the signature thing, man. And the launch control on it is mint. I, I bet. I thought about it, I was like, you know, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Here, I'll let y'all back it up, man. Now, I appreciate y'all letting me ride this thing, man. Well, thanks for stopping by. And of course. I was not expecting, I was thinking like old man, like, no, just like, I don't know, Miami kind of money, just chilling. Yeah, but <laughs> this is completely different, man. It feels like a sport bike, but you're sitting up and it sounds so good. Like that exhaust is just, is that stock exhaust? Yeah, so it comes with the race kit. That's the race kit. Okay. Kit that comes with yeah, it. which is crazy because SC Project, or excuse me, it's Aero, but with MD. Yeah. Okay. So you can see like, you know, yeah. designed by MD. Yeah. Because the stock one, it splits off here and it has like four lights. Okay, I think that's what I saw or something similar. Maybe it was the Rush that had that too, but hell yeah. Well, I appreciate it once again, man. Like I said, go check out PDM Brands. They're going to be giving this one away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was like, hell no. <laughs> Once again, shout out to them. Make sure you go check them out on Instagram, man. They do bike giveaways. Um, but yeah, appreciate y'all watching the video. Y'all comment down below. Should we add an MV to the fleet, the fast lane fleet? I don't know how that would happen, but uh, I can dream a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching. Fast lane D, the Nuremberg ring. That, that's the official name, right? All right, we're out. Peace.